Hello friends, I'm Chad Hembry from The Learning Group and welcome to yet another tutorial on how to improve your virtual meeting experience. Now the word photography literally means drawing with light. Light is the basis and most important element of still photos and videos. And it's just as important in your online meetings. Over these next few minutes, I'm going to demonstrate to you three easy tips that will showcase how lighting can radically transform your virtual meeting experience. Tip number one is backlighting. Try your best to not do this. With the help from Betty, today's volunteer, we've all seen this before. The guy or gal who is a voice modulator away from animidity, just a shadow in front of their window. This here is backlighting, meaning all of the light is coming from behind them. This can also happen with lamps or bright reflections seen in the background. So what's the solution? You probably figured it out, just don't sit with your back to a window or a light source. If moving your chair isn't an option though, you can simply try closing your curtains or block the sunlight or position yourself in such a way that your body is blocking the window as best you can. Now of course, you can also use the window to your advantage, which leads us to tip number two. The opposite of backlighting is key lighting. That's lighting lingo used in the video production world where a primary light source is used to highlight a subject. In this scenario, Betty is leading a high profile virtual meeting and professionalism is of utmost importance. Betty needs a key light. She can find one by facing the window she just had her back to in tip number one. Looking at this side by side comparison, you can clearly see the difference. Before, Betty resembled the character from the 2002 horror film, The Ring, while the after image shows her face being more full and flattering in a manner that says, I'm a leader, follow me. A second option for key lighting could be facing a nearby lamp. The idea is to have a light source directly in front of you. That may seem like a no brainer, but I put an emphasis on in front of you. If the light source comes in from the side, it may create harsh shadows and uneven light as you see here. Lighting directly overhead may also not be appealing, unless you're telling campfire ghost stories about the 2002 horror film, The Ring. And assuming that's not your ideal meeting environment, always keep the light source in front of you. This third and final tip is for all of the do-gooders seeking extra credit when life hack light sources such as windows and lamps just aren't good enough. Or maybe I'm just talking to myself here. <laughs> Either way, I'm talking about advanced lighting. There are two popular options that are simple yet effective. The prices can be as expensive or cheap as you'd like them to be. Option number one is the ring light. It specializes in wrapping the light around your subject's face which eliminates blemishes caused by shadows. Some benefits to the ring light are that it's just one single light which minimizes setup and tear down time. Also, contrary to its name, has nothing to do with the horror film The Ring. One of the main cons though is that you are essentially staring into this light for the duration of your meeting. Lighting option number two is a set of LED panel lights. Having a panel at either side of your computer's monitor creates a flattering full light on your face while not staring directly into the light and having to squint like you just walked out of a dark 2002 matinee showing of the horror film The Ring. A con is that it's twice as much setup and teardown time as The Ring Light. And that'll do it. You finally met the light at the end of the tunnel. Those are my top three tips to shed a light on your virtual meetings and also brings an end to my horrible puns that I continue to make light of. Okay, I'm done. For The Learning Group, I'm Chad Embry. Thank you for watching, good luck, and good selling. Giving shape to ideas. Konica Minolta.